Hey, Moondog here. Welcome to my channel. And no, I'm not wearing sunglasses to look cool, because I already am. No, I'm wearing goggles for you eyeglasses, or sunglasses. These are tinted eyeglasses. In fact, they're bifocals. And uh, you're probably clicking on this video because you saw uh, the thumbnail that said don't buy goggles for you until you watch this video. And the reason I made that thumbnail and this video is because I want to relate an experience I had with goggles for you. And, and don't get me wrong, I've enjoyed these glasses for quite a few months. I bought them uh, last year. I thought they were very stylish. I thought they were very affordable. I mean, goggles for you, if you don't already know, is an online glasses maker and retailer. And, uh, um, you know, in the last 10 years or so, online eyeglasses have become a thing. Uh, I've bought eyeglasses from Zenny Eyewear and now recently from Goggles for You and I've been quite happy with them. In fact, um, I bought some for my, the rest of my family uh, based on my positive experience in wearing these um, and you know they were quite affordable. It, I'm old enough to remember back in the day when you had to get eyeglasses, you'd have to go to optometrist, they'd measure you, of course, and then you'd pick your glasses, and then you'd have to wait a week or two before you got your glasses back. And then sometime in the 1990s with the uh, advent of uh, CNC, or computer-controlled uh, design, they were able to create glasses using machines in their offices, so they had the the rise of uh, lens crafters and you know basically all these places that would make eyeglasses for you while you wait and then well, of course recently with the with the internet and the boom with that you can get glasses online all you have to do is get a proper prescription or if you already have one go to any of these online places like goggles for you and you can t take a look at their website here yeah you have they have a broad selection of eyeglasses and they've got a cool feature um, that allows you to, to virtually wear one of their glasses. Like for example, let's see, My Mirror, that's the, their, their version, their brand of it. And if you have um, a camera on your laptop, you can just try out a pair of, of, of eyeglasses, like here, that's pretty cool. And even moves with your head and does a fair rendition of what you would look like with those glasses or these glasses. That's nice. What's that a pair of glasses like this? I, I like that. Of course, more traditional. It's kind of fun, kind of uh, kind of funny. This is maybe a little too big for my face, but, but you see what I'm saying. There, you can. It's great because you could try them, try them out. You can even try different tints on them, mirror tints. So you can turn any glasses, if you have prescription glasses, into sunglasses. That's, that's nice. So anyway, I bought these and I was quite happy with them. Um, I got bifocals, by the way, uh, because I need bifocals. I'm getting a little older and uh, can't read my phone um, without them. So uh, I use them primarily, or these ones, these tinted ones, in the car because, you know, I'm driving and, uh, you know, I need to be able to, to, to see the signage uh, further down the road. And these are, I definitely need them for, for driving. I don't usually wear them uh, on camera, obviously, as you don't often see me with, gl with glasses. But um, I got these. And let me just relate the story and getting back to why I, I made this video. So I had these in the car. I have them in the, my center console. And I don't know, I must have gotten some schmutz on them. I might have been uh, eating a, a uh, In-N-Out burger or something. You know, some piece got, got there on there. And there was just this, you know, this greasy stain uh, drop on, on the lens. And so I did what I um, would have think would be normal. I took it home, I took it from the car, went to the kitchen, ran it through some warm water, not boiling hot water, just warm water and a drop of uh, dishwashing liquid to get the schmutz out, the greasy schmutz out. And this happened. Here, we'll take a look at this. That that kind of weird staining on, on there, it, it, I swear, I did not touch it with anything. It's not like I used a, a scouring brush or a, a sponge or anything like that. This is how they came out after I you know, shook them dry. I, I took um, a, a paper towel and I dabbed them dry. I didn't rub into them or anything like that. This is how, what happened to them. So what I did, I thought, no, this is not, this doesn't look right. And I, you know, I tried wearing them and it, everything looks blurry. They're practically unusable, really. I certainly can't drive safely with these uh, in their current state. Um, so I contacted, I went to, to, uh, to Goggles for You. And if you go to the website, you can uh, you know, get help. You can uh, you know, uh, 
get some customer service through there and even or, or open up a chat. And so I went to their uh, service portal. I put in a request and I uploaded a photo of uh, of the glasses. And and uh, this is the this is the interaction from that email. So let me just go through their words. Uh, I sent uh, a photo of the glasses, as you saw, and I wrote on February 8th, Hi Steve, because I think I got an email back from a Steve at uh, Goggles for You. Hi Steve, I purchased some tinted bifocals last year and I gave them my order number. I've always used microfiber cloths, cl cleaning cloths, and they supply you with some microfiber cloths. So I've always used them and just sort of like, you know, blew on them um, to fog them up and get a little moisture on them, and then I would wipe them off. No, no problem, because usually it's just dust and you know, or a little bit of, of uh, your um, body oil from your eyelashes or, or somewhere. But it was just that one time that I got some food particles in there that I wanted to wash them off. So anyway, getting back to what I wrote. I've always used microfiber, the, a microfiber cloth supplied that they supplied, but recently wanted to give them a clean with warm water and dish soap. And this happened to the coating. WTF, is this normal? And no, I did not use a scrubber. I just sudsed it up between my fingers and rinsed them with warm tap water. I'm going to have to throw these away because they're too blurry to drive with. Sincerely. Anyway, so Janice, I don't know who Janice is, uh, responded back to me. And um, in her words, and this is what she sounds like in my head, Hello Thomas, hope all is well. Please be informed that the glasses are only supposed to be cleaned with a given microfiber cloth and warm slash lukewarm water is harmful to the coatings on the lenses. It is completely normal if you ash the glasses, and I'm assuming she means wash, and just typo that. If you wash the glasses off, the coatings will be affected. Regards, sales and support. Okay, really, so if I wash them with just warm water, I just wanted to clarify this. So I responded back to Janice. Hi Janice, water will damage the coatings. Why isn't there a big warning sticker about this or a manual of care included or downloadable from your website? And I went to the website. Nothing about this is in the FAQ, FAQ. And I included the link on their website where their, their FAQ is on their products. So what happens if it rains? Will the coating, what, what coatings do you have that, that is waterproof? That's a little bad grammar there. She responded, hello Thomas, hope all is well. Please be informed that constant rain can damage the lenses. Constant rain can damage the lenses for which we offer a hydrophobic coating. But with that coating as well, you cannot clean the glasses with water or dish soap since that will deteriorate the coating. Regards, sales and support. Really? This is not even protected against rain. Okay, so that is why I don't think you should buy from Goggles for You. They make great glasses, by the way. I like this the style. Uh, price point is great. But seriously, you cannot get these wet? In what universe do glasses, <laughs> are glasses not supposed to get wet in the rain? Hello. Okay, so let me know in, in the comments what you think about that response. And this is their official response, by the way, that you shouldn't get your glasses wet. <coughs> you cursed rat! Look what you've done! Leave me a comment. Let me know if this has happened to you uh, and if you can recommend um, uh, Zenny Eyewear. So far, I haven't had a problem with them, so I can recommend them. Uh, if, you've, if you use any other online eyeglass um, company, let me know in the comments who you recommend, who, who you go with. Anyway, I hope you got something out of this, and I hope this is a good warning for you <laughs> not to, to uh, go with uh, goggles for you. Maybe they're fine with just clear and non-tinted, but at this point, I am not going to even risk that. So anyway, I hope you got something out of this. If you did, please hit that like and subscribe button and check out my other videos. I review gadgets and uh, electronics and other interesting things on, on my channel. So anyway, um, thanks for watching this. Moondog out. Hey, I'd like to know what you thought of this video. Leave me a comment or chat with me on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, MeWe, Instagram, or Locals.
And if you want to see all of my videos, go to MoondogIndustries.com. Mm -hmm.